Do you know the guy? No, but I will soon. Come on, Gordon. Get in here. Relax. What am I going to do, Sam? What can I do? You can come in here. You're making me nervous. Sam? You saw? I saw. Who is he? Old Marine buddy, Gordon Forbes. What's he doing out on the ledge? Ask him. Get back. We just wanted to talk to you. I don't want to talk. I want Diana. Diana? His wife. She kicked him out this morning. Said she wanted a divorce. He checked into this hotel. Get me Diana. All right. Gordon, take it easy. We're trying to reach her. He's run up some heavy gambling desk at the Sunset Club. I guess she got tired of it. Why'd he call you? Well, he wanted somebody to talk her into change your mind. I met her a few times. He figured she'd listen to me. Sam. Sam, I want Diana. She's all I've got. We'll find her, Gordon. How did he get out there? I went to pour him a drink. When I turned around, he was halfway out the window. If we don't find Diana. Simple. He jumps. <laughs> get up here. You save everybody a lot of trouble. We're trying to find Diana. Trying isn't good enough. You'd still be better off meeting her inside. There's no sense frightening her. Look, leave me alone, will you? Still no answer? No. I'll keep trying. There's a man standing out there on the ledge. Who are you? I am Mr. Rush. What? I happen to be the manager of this hotel. By the way, what are you doing here? This room is for single occupancy. I rented this room to a man, and he's standing out there on that ledge. Don't you realize that? That's dangerous. Hold it. Get back. I beg your pardon. I have every right to get that. Here, Sam. Mr. Rush, we're very glad you're here. We need someone like you to help us in this situation. It's a very difficult one. Yes, we have got to find her. Maybe I better go over to the house, Sam. Maybe I can get a lead on her. 639 Foxcroft. Come on, Mr. Rush. Fine. I'll check with you, Sam. Fine. Just Ooh. go this way, Mr. Rush. We've got to get that man off the ledge. Just who are you? Uh, we're detectives, Mr. Rush. Now, look, the best thing you can do is to stay downstairs and not let anybody up here except the police. I knew it. I knew it. In the first place, he didn't even have any luggage.
Mrs. Forbes. Mrs. Forbes. jumped yet. That's something. Talk about a brick wall. The man won't come in unless we bring him his wife, and now his wife is dead. Now what? I don't know. This isn't the kind of thing that we run up against every day. You sure you didn't see the driver of that car? No. Yeah. Check the driveway for tire impressions. I doubt if we'll find anything. And whoever shot her took the murder weapon with him. That doesn't give us very much to go on. Unless you got some ideas. I didn't even know the woman. Looks like a typical housewife. Now, who'd have a motive to kill her? The only man I might know is as much in the air as we are. We can't tell him his wife is dead. You're really giving him a free show down there. <laughs> Bunch of scavengers. They'd love to see me jump. Well, don't be a crowd pleaser. Come on in, have a cup of coffee. Not until my wife gets here. She's probably on her way right now. What's taking her so long? Maybe she doesn't want to see me. Maybe she'd be happy if I did jump. Well, don't be ridiculous. Well, you know, that's not true. All right, honey, I'll get him. Sam, your partner. I'll relieve you. Hello, honey. Any luck? It's negative. He's still out there. I guess you got the news from this end. Yeah, I heard been able to keep it from Forbes? Of course. We can't take that chance. Are you headed back this way? Not for a while. I'm going to go over to the Sunset Club. Sunset Club? Why? He owes them gambling debts, doesn't he? Yeah, but... Uh... There's not much else I can do right now. At least I can try to find out who killed his wife. Okay. At this moment, the police are trying to figure how to rig a net. In case Forbes makes a decision that he can only solve his Mr. problem Bell? by jumping yeah. from the lake. lady named West to see you. This, of course, is a well, delicate it's... position for the police to find the Honey West? In. Yes, sir. Because they must what? Be Show her in, by, by all means. So doing, to Mr. Bell? Hello, honey. Say, how long has it been? Three, four years? Something like that. Uh, uh, what was I doing at that time? Whatever it was, it wasn't listed with a better business bureau. <laughs> uh, those were my salad days. Uh, I I'm going straight now. I'm getting conservative in my old age. I see you're watching everybody's favorite television show. Hmm. Is it uh, bothering? I'm surprised it doesn't bother you. Why should it? He owes you a lot of money. <laughs> Why should he owe me money? I run a private key club here. With a private gambling room on the second floor. So is uh, Forbes a client of yours? Maybe. I haven't asked him. How much does he owe you? 20,000. <laughs> Why all the questions? His wife was just murdered. I suppose you don't know anything about that? I don't watch the news. It's a little depressing. Suppose, just for argument's sake, suppose Mrs. Forbes had a large insurance policy with her husband as the beneficiary? All right. Let's suppose. In the event of her death, he'd collect? He'd be able to pay you off? You, you think I arranged it? It's a possibility. Oh, come on now, honey. Let's be reasonable. Why should I want to have his wife killed, especially now? Besides, don't you think I'm smart enough to uh, wait until he gets off that ledge? Maybe you didn't know he was on it. You never watched the news, remember? I have friends who do. Some of them called me. You've been sitting here ever since, hoping he wouldn't lose his balance? You are clairvoyant. Look, besides, I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt his wife. You know, I liked her. You've met? Oh, yeah. Forbes would bring her around a club once in a while. Strange. I got the impression she wouldn't come near this place. 
Hey, you've been misinformed. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, they were here just about a week ago. Good-looking woman. If you like uh, brunettes. Brunette? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Forbes was really showing her off. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Maybe you've been able to help me after all. How do you mean? Diana Forbes is a blonde. found it in Gordon Forbes' office. Breaking and entering. Well, let's not talk about that now. He has a girlfriend. They've been seen together at the Sunset Club. So what about this picture? Well, he won't come in unless he talks to his wife, and that's impossible. Well, now that we know there's somebody else. Well, if we can find her, maybe she can come here and help. We have to find out who she is first, and we can't ask Mr. Forbes. You know something? I've seen this girl before. Where? I don't know, but she looks awful familiar. Oh, there you are. Uh, Rush, you promised to stay downstairs. <laughs> I have a very simple solution to the whole problem. Now, Mr. Rush, not now. Don't you think if there were a simple solution, the police would have found out? But if I'm capable of running a hotel, I'm capable of coming up with an answer. <laughs> Honey, Sam, I'm going to need your help. Anything we can do, Barney. I'm thinking of lowering a man from the floor above. Now, you talk to Forbes. Keep him diverted. Say, that's my idea. Exactly what I had in mind. I've seen it several times on television. It won't work, Barney. Why not? We've done it before. Absolutely, absolutely, Lieutenant. Mr. Rush, please. Barney, I know you know your business, but Forbes is nobody's fool. Anybody got near me, jump. There's got to be a better way. Then we'd better invent one, and soon he's getting impatient. If, uh, if I'm interfering, just say so. Really, Mr. Rush, you would be helping if you stayed downstairs. The police downstairs won't listen to me either. I, I feel useless. I feel the same way, boxed in. Sam, hmm. why don't we televise that picture? Maybe somebody might recognize her. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've seen this woman. You have, Mr. Rush? Where? Here at the hotel? No. With Forbes when he checked in? No. No, but I have seen her. Well, I've seen her, too, somewhere. Hmm. On television. It's television. Television. That's where I've seen her before. On television. You have? Come on. You know this girl? Yeah, sure, I know her. Local weather girl, right? Yeah, on KJHS. Two shows daily, I think. Uh... Her name's, uh, uh, Connie Phillips. Yeah, that's right. I've been watching her for months. I just didn't make a connection. Well, I'm glad you finally did. You better get back to the ledge. I'll try to catch the weather lady during commercials. Excuse me. Now for the weather in Southern California. We're all very lucky because there are beautiful skies on the way for the next few days. So get out your reflectors and your surfboards. We're in for a glorious weekend. Tomorrow's high in the mid-80s, and no smog expected. This is Connie Phillips saying, rain or shine, have a good day. Miss Phillips? Yes? I'm Honey West. I'd like to talk with you. Show's over, friend. I'm in a hurry. So is Gordon Forbes. What? Your competition on the other channel. Oh, you mean the guy on the ledge? You sound as if you don't know the guy on the ledge. Of course I don't know him. Is that your twin sister? All right, I do know him, but I can't help him. Can't or won't? Look, friend, about a week ago, Gordon and I decided not to see each other again. It was all very sad and very final. If he needs help... Let his wife give it to him. His wife is dead. Dead? She was murdered. I didn't know. Neither does Gordon Forbes. That's why we need your help. Right now, you might be the only one he would listen to. 
<laughs> Fine. And what happens to me after I play the Good Samaritan? Papers get a hold of it, they find out that I'm dating a married man, and it gets on the front page. I'd be fired in 24 hours. It's a fine time to be thinking about your career. I'm sorry. Gordon is not my problem anymore. Maybe the police can convince you. I'm calling the cops. You give me no other choice? Just a minute. If I go with you, would you promise to keep it out of the papers? I'll try. Okay. Stay here. I'll get my purse. I'll go with you. You don't trust me, do you? My dressing room's right here. You can see the door. I won't run out on you. Switchboard, would you please page Miss Honey West? Yes, I'll hold on. Honey West, paging Miss Honey West. Hello, this is Honey West. Well, operator, who wanted me? They've gone. Never mind. Lieutenant Barney. Yeah, he's there. Honey again, Sam. Thanks. Hello. Sam, your weather lady got away. You got any idea where she went? No, I don't. The studio gave me her address. It's 596 Ventura, apartment 2. Look, you're closer than I am. Why don't I meet you there? I'm on my way. Toothbrush. Who are you? Friend of the girl that you just skipped out on. Also a friend of Gordon Forbes. Now look, how many times do I have to say this? He's not my problem. My, you're all heart. Look, mister, I've got a good job and I worked hard to get it. One whiff of bad publicity and I'm off the air. There's nothing I can do for Gordon, not anymore. No, you won't know that till you try. Uh-uh. I've given him a year of my life already. That's enough. And you won't give him one more hour? Sorry. So am I, because you're coming with me, one way or another. And if I refuse? Get your purse. Maybe they've talked him in, and, and I get myself involved for nothing. How do I know he's still up there? I'll show you. Decision. Perched on the ledge of his hotel room and faced with what must seem an unsolvable problem to him at this moment. He can't help but wonder what he's doing. As he stands there trying to decide if he will or not. I see she tried it again. I'm beginning to get the impression she doesn't want to help us. Anxiety is felt by what are you doing? It's been fired recently. Four shots. I think the forecast for you is a little stormy. If you're trying to say that I killed him... Well, you had a motive. She was married to the man that you loved. Sam? What? There were four bullets missing. Diana was shot twice. All right, honey, it's been fired four times. Now, what's your point? May I talk to him, Barney? Go ahead, but be careful what you say. Do you know what you're doing? I hope so. 
Gordon. I want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. How about Diana? What about her? Is she here? No, Gordon. She's dead. Has she lost her mind? Did you hear what I said, Gordon? Your wife is dead. She's been murdered. <laughs> I don't believe you. It's true. You're never going to see her again. Why don't you go ahead and jump? Get her away from there. Lieutenant, he's not going to jump. He never intended to. This whole thing was a setup. Setup? What are you talking about? Your wife's murder, Gordon. You killed her. You don't know what you're saying. How could I kill her? I was right here. You were right here. But Diana was already dead. You shot her and you needed an alibi fast. So you called someone you could trust. Then you left your accomplice at your house with your gun and the orders to fire as soon as somebody drove up. Why would I do a thing like that? To make it look as if the murder just happened. You fooled me. And you called me here with your sob story. The only way to get someone to look for your wife was to climb out here. And this accomplice, I suppose, is... is skipping the country. No. Connie's right here. You have two choices. The pavement or the jewelry. At least with the jury, you've got a chance. Champagne. It's on me. Provided you answer one question. How did you know that it was Forbes? The gun, Sam. Too many shots had been fired, and then I realized that Connie used two of the bullets for sound effects. Oh, and then she was really in love with him. Yep. Her story about a breakup was just a big smoke screen. Hmm. Well, what about that champagne? Right. I know just the place. Top room. It's a beautiful view. I thought you want champagne. Where are you going? Luigi Cellar. Thank you. 